Good morning, and I hope everybody's had a fantastic week this week. Now, because I normally shoot my videos two or three weeks before I actually release them, if I've got my timing right, this could actually be my first video of 2020. And if that's the case, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and prosperous new year, and I hope everyone's had a great Christmas. But in real time, this is actually two days before Christmas Day and I've come down to the beautiful beach at Cromer. Well, if you guys follow my channel on a regular basis, you'll know that I do like visiting places like Snowdonia and the Lake District and lesser so the Peak District, but I, I do enjoy the peaks, but pretty much anywhere where there's mountains and really interesting landscape. But Norfolk and Suffolk is actually closer to me than any of them locations. Yet I don't come here quite as often as I should do. And I think the reason for that is because I've never really found my niche when it comes to shooting this type of environment. I just think I don't really have the eye for it. When I was shooting the beach at Newbra and Penross, you had the backdrop of Snowdonia and that looked absolutely beautiful. I almost felt that I had layers in the image. I had the sand, I had the sea, I had the backdrop of the mountains. But when I come to Norfolk and Suffolk, I don't actually have that. But then I realised it's nothing to do with Norfolk or Suffolk. It's purely to do with the way that I approach my photography. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start focusing on... Oh, and I don't know if I even want to say this because it conjures up all sorts of images and it's up for debate. But I think when I come here... I'm going to embrace the, the big expanse of nothingness and focus on fine art photography. There, I said it. Now I really don't understand why the term fine art photography can upset some people. It certainly doesn't upset me when I hear the term used, but I, do, I have noticed that people walk on eggshells when, they, when they, they say the word fine art. Now for me, fine art photography is just something that's very simple, quite minimal. That's how I view it. And it's just another genre of photography. So like when I go to places like Snowdonia or the Lake District, places that I absolutely love, I can see a scene open up in front of me something with a foreground, a midground, a background, working out how to connect the midground to the background, leading lines. When I come to places like Norfolk and Suffolk that doesn't have any backdrops of any mountains, I struggle. And I think perhaps that's because I've got this, this fixation of trying to convert a seascape image um, or, or trying to compose a seascape image the way I would a landscape image. And I do think that it's time now for me to uh, uh, abandon that road and focus on something a lot more simple, something that actually suits, in my opinion, these surroundings. So you may be able to see that I'm literally just pointing my camera straight out to sea here. There is nothing in this image other than perhaps a little bit of sand, some sea and some sky. That is it, just them three elements make up this image. But what I'm doing, I'm trying my hand at some ICM, some intentional camera movement. And from what I can see on the back of the camera, this just looks so nice. I just hope that this very soft feel, this very soft ethereal image transfers over to the computer because it's really working for me on the back of the camera. And, the, and it's such a, a simple form of photography. And the only thing that I really have to remember at the moment is to keep my tripod level. 
even if I'm here for a while, the, the tripod does want to sink into the sand. So I'm forever just checking that small bubble to make sure it's okay. And with a level tripod, all I'm doing is just panning the camera from left to right or from right to left. It makes no difference. And in terms of my settings, well, it's changing quite a lot. My settings are changing purely just to keep the, the length of the exposure. So at the moment, I've got a, uh, a little stopper on there just because I want like a, a spat of two and a half, three second exposure now. I'm on ISO 100, but it's the aperture that, that changes. And I don't think the aperture is really important on this because the image is going to be incredibly soft. So I think anything from F4 to F22 would be absolutely fine on this type of image. It's just that I'm changing the aperture to actually control the exposure time and nothing more. In terms of composition, I've gone perhaps a little bit wider than I possibly need to, but I don't know if I want some of the sand in the, the foreground for this, or I want to crop in tight, quite tight and just have the, the sea and the sky. At the moment, I've got, say, three elements to this image. Um, but as I say, I may crop it and just have the two. I may just have the sea and the sky. And I've taken quite a few images because I just really don't know at the moment which one is actually going to work. But that's absolutely fine. I've really had a lovely morning this morning. Everything has been incredibly slowly paced. And uh, it's a great start to uh, the new year. that was a really enjoyable few hours here on the beach shooting that kind of photography and as I said if this comes out if this ICM works then uh, I think this is going to open up a whole new world for me but coming to places like Norfolk and Suffolk where you know there is huge expanses of nothing it's going to give me a, a real lift to come out but my mornings certainly not over because I'm going to start walking along the beach now. I'm going to start heading towards West Runton, where that section of the beach is perhaps a little bit more unspoilt. There was a, a lot of dog walkers here, but if I carry on walking further up, I may get to an area of the beach that's still kind of unspoilt by any footprints. So I'm going to head up there, and I'm going to try and pick out some, hopefully, some intimate scenes on the beach and add that to my arsenal of simplistic fine art photography. Cheers. Now, I've not found exactly what I had in mind, but that's, that's fine. You very rarely do. But what I have found here, which I really like, is just these very soft patterns, or these very soft shade, I should say, in the sand. It's just where the tide is coming up and then settling and then just receding. And there's some nice soft tones between the darker shade of the sand and then where the sun is just catching the reflection on the, on the receding tide. At the moment, I really don't know 
what crop I'm going to go for. I have got some horizon, I've got some sky in above this shot at the moment with some clouds. And if I think that that adds to the image, then I'll leave it there. If not, I may just crop this image and then just remove it and focus purely on the, on the tones and the shadows in this image. There is one single white stone on the beach at the moment. And as I say, at the moment I've kept that in. I'm hoping that's going to work. And that is actually what I focused on for this shot. As always, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, but until next week, see ya.